Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is busy rolling out our Windows 10 and Windows 11 April 2024 optional bug fix C release updates, which started rolling out late yesterday in my region once again on the 23rd of April. Now, the updates are just that, they are optional, so you don't have to install them unless you have this toggle turned on and then the update will be downloaded and installed automatically. Now, um, the update that is rolled out for Windows 10 for this month is KB5036979. And here's the update listed under quality updates after you have installed the update. And once the update has been applied, if you do decide to install the update, if we just head over to Winver quickly, just to see our build upgrade about Windows. Once that update has been installed, Windows 10 22H2 OS build has been bumped up to 19045.4355. So that's the latest version and build of and for Windows 10. Now this is exactly the same update, give or take, that I posted on a week or two ago when it was still being finalized in preview and has now made its way to the stable version. Now first of all, there are two new features that would be of interest to your home user. And as I mentioned previously, the update starts the rollout of account-related notifications for Microsoft accounts in Settings Home. So basically, that would be yeah, on your home page in Settings. And as an example, if you're not signed in with a Microsoft account, uh, Microsoft will start pushing you a banner here at the top, um, which is basically an account-related notification which they say uh, displays notifications across the start menu and settings. And as I've mentioned previously, and I've posted a whole video on this, um, this basically is considered by most, including myself, to be a nag ad because Microsoft wants you to use a Microsoft account. And I posted a whole video on that and I'll leave that in the end screen of this video. Now, the good news is, as I've mentioned previously, if you don't want to see those notifications here at the top, if you, as an example, are signed in with a local account, you can head over to your privacy page and you can toggle off show me suggested content in the settings app, which should to some degree um, turn that off or limit those notifications um, to some extent or the other. So if you are seeing them and you don't want to turn this off, I have three out of the four turned off, as I've mentioned previously. So go check that out if you want to turn off um, those account related notifications and then the next new feature is the update affects widgets on the lock screen now that's the lock screen widgets as we have been posting over the last couple of updates for windows 10 and apparently they are more reliable and have improved quality according to microsoft and it also the update also supports more visuals and a more customized experience for you and i'm just still seeing the weather um, I'm just still seeing the weather uh, widget on my lock screen. I'm not seeing as yet um, the other finance widgets and so on that should have been rolling out. But nonetheless, I have posted that that is still on a controlled rollout. And then just some other key highlights just to mention too. The update address, addresses an issue that affects some wireless earbuds. Apparently, Bluetooth connections were not stable and this occurred on devices that had that had firmware from April 2023 and later. So that's listed as a highlight. So if you experienced that, that should be addressed. And then the fourth and final key highlight is the update makes some changes to Windows Search. Apparently Microsoft says it is now more reliable and it is easier to find an app after you install it. And the update also gives you a personalized app search experience. So those are the key highlights, two new features, and then two quality improvements that have rolled out. Now, because this is a non-security update, it's also going to include some other bug fixes and quality improvements. So if you do want to stick around, I'm just going to mention four that you may be interested in. And the update addresses an issue that affects apps licensing. Because, because of this, Copilot in Windows apparently didn't work as you would expect. And I'm still waiting for Copilot to roll out to my Windows 10 device. So that really is on a slow controlled rollout. And the update addresses an issue that occurs when your device resumes from modern standby. Apparently, um, you might get a stop error, and a stop error is a blue screen of death. So I always say any blue screen of death that's addressed is a good update and a good bug fix. 
And then the update addresses a race condition that might stop a machine from starting up. Apparently this occurred when you set up a bootloader to start up multiple operating systems. And then the last one just to mention is the update includes quality, sorry, quarterly changes to the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list files. That's to do with the security app uh, in Windows 10. And there are a couple of bug fixes that didn't make their way to stable that were in preview. So as mentioned, when the update is still in preview, that's not a guaranteed list and is always subject to change. So there are a couple of other little bug fixes that didn't make their way uh, into the stable release of this update. And that's more or less what's new in this latest optional bug fix release update, KB5036979 for Windows 10 22H2. And if you are asking the question, has a fix rolled out for the infamous update KB5034441? Still no fix, so obviously I'm keeping my eye on that one. And whenever a fix becomes available for this, I will obviously post ASAP and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.